Uh, well, I guess I don't really think there really is such a thing as true atheism. There's just kind of like agnosticism with an attitude, <laughs> kind of how I would describe it. I mean, if you really think that there, you know, it's basically whether or not there is a God, there doesn't seem like any evidence that the God is materially interested in what happens to people on the planet. So we're, you know, we're kind of like bacteria in a gut, or we're kind of like, uh, you know, like flies on a carcass, you know, we, we, we're kind of up to our own, you know, what we're going to come up with. And that's, I guess, pretty much my stance about belief in a higher power, you know, it's like, uh, he may or may not be interested in us, but there's no way to tell. Hope does an atheist have? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we. No, that's true. It's like yeah. uh, it's a it's a downside of not believing in anything beyond this life. You know, is that uh, like uh, I was very demoralized by the last election. You know, because you, you you think you know Martin Luther King. You know the you know the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. But then all of a sudden you realize, well, maybe it doesn't. You know, and then what are you left with? You know, you're just left with your little scrabbling and your little life. You know, and I think uh, you end up trying to focus on things that, um, you know, your children or something locally, but no, you, you don't really have that. I mean, you don't have that uh, sense of some overriding purpose that is being worked out. You know, so you, um, I don't know that, I mean, I definitely feel the loss of that because I grew up religious, mm -hmm. so it was a loss, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I don't know that if you were raised without any religious background, like my wife, you know, secular Jewish, she doesn't seem to really feel that as a loss. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, her sense of her family, you know, her profession, her jobs, all that stuff seems like enough in the moment. All right, so, yeah, a bunch of different threads. Uh, one was, well, you know, I grew up missionary, grew up very religious, um, and at some point, it's weird, I just started thinking about not only the people that were being saved, but the people that weren't being saved, including the ancestors of all the Native Americans that my parents were saving, you know, by bringing them the Bible. And it was like, really? Like uh, 1960 is the first time a Sequoia Indian gets into heaven? You know, it was like, really, there was no other way? I mean, it was like, Christ was 2,000 years ago in Israel, and it took him 2,000 years to work the message across to here? It seemed like kind of unfair and kind of uh, just kind of arbitrary, you know. So that's one of the strands. The other one, I think, was when I was in high school. You know, like all good Christians back then, fairly, you know, patriarchal. You know, but I had a couple of uh, friends in school that were girls who were very like proto-feminist back in the early 70s. Uh, and then it also turned out that we stayed. I stayed in high school. Uh, for a couple of years with a family with a, a very interesting Christian woman who actually ended up writing some books about uh, what is that verse in uh, you know uh, first first second Corinthians you know a woman shall not speak uh, so she she became a you know a Greek scholar uh, wrote a book about that and uh, really reinterpreted it and said that no that was an admonition for a particular place and time uh, Paul was writing to a church where the women's religion was different from the men's religion, the old pagan ones. And so I bought that. I said, that makes sense to me. You know, that, that, that the, the Bible has been misinterpreted for 2,000 years. But then I went past this woman who uh, was actually just trying to redress some problems in the church. And I said, what kind of God waits for 2,000 years to actually redress a misinterpretation of his holy text? And I was thinking, well, maybe a God that really is kind of absent, you know. So I think that was, those two strands, I think, were probably the two main thre threads.